everyone welcome to my channel this is my first time doing a project pan I do enjoy making empties videos and I also enjoy watching them um, I'm not very familiar with the project pan community but one of my good friends Jessica which I will list her channel below she does I don't know if she does project pan I know she does like a same tons of empties so she has a channel and she also has an Instagram with her empties and I will link both of those below. She does like an awesome job with empties and this year she, I don't know if this is her first time doing the project pan or not because I know she used to do empties but I'm not sure if she did like project pan. This is my first time doing project pan. I have listed like all the products. This one is called the 16 and 2016 Project Pan. And I just, this is my planner. I'm gonna probably update every three months just because um, I probably wear makeup anywhere between four to eight times a month. Maybe more. Sometimes, sometimes more, sometimes less. So, you know, that's why. And I use a lot of different products at once, so that's another reason why. Okay, so the first thing I will start with is some, this was, this is a bath item. Almost leaking on me. Yeah, I do these bath items. I have like bath, skin care, hair care, makeup. So, I'm going to try to do it in a certain order, but I don't think it's going to really be that way. This is the sea, I sea Island Cotton, and it's the Supercharged Body Scrub. This is by Bath & Body Works, and it looks like that. And I think this is my last Bath & Body Work scrub that I have in my collection. And I use different ones different times. I do seasonally, seasonal ones sometimes but I'm really trying to work through that collection that I have so this is the first item and I love the Sea Island cotton scent I love that fresh cotton scent so um I would if when I use this up I'm gonna probably repurchase it again because I just love cotton scents and also I have this Victoria's Secret it is the sheer love it's white cotton and pink lily so that's what that looks like and I don't know if you can tell I marked it in like a fuchsia color marker which hopefully you can see that some of the things if I can mark them I will so that you can tell the progress hopefully this is gonna be kind of hard because it's like a light pink lick, um, fluid but that's what that looks like so I decided to do the sheer love body wash I mean, not body wash. That is the one of those is the body wash, the one I just showed you. I decided to do the fragrance mist, and I marked that one too. And this one is completely full in the sheer love. So it's white cotton and pink lily, and this smells really good. If they still make it after I finish it with it, I will probably repurchase this again just because I love this scent. And there's the lotion, and I cannot tell how much I've used. I think today is the first time that I actually use this. So, I really like this scent a lot. So, I like it. I'm pretty sure it won't take me. It won't be a problem to finish that. Also, in my shower, I use the Olay Regenerous Microdermabrasion Treatment. And I put these two together because you use them together. This one is... Um, pretty much almost empty as you can see this is not the one I'm gonna this is completely full usually I run out of both of these at the same time I don't know why I ran out of one this one's completely full but I have a new one of this so I'm gonna do the new one in my project pan not this used one so that's like one item because you use them first you do this which is the First you do this one, and then you do, you put this one on. You massage this one into your skin for a minute or two, and then you use this one. 
Okay. Then I have the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. I want to use this up. This is like two fluid ounces. It's completely full. And I got this as my birthday gift last year from Sephora. So it also came with a little mask, a cucumber mask. But I'm going to concentrate on using this one up. It's a face wash. This one, as long as I don't have like another face wash in my shower, this shouldn't take very long. Okay, I got two toners. So, like right now I have one that probably has about this much toner in it. And then this one is a skin nutrition toner. This is the one that people get at the Dollar Tree. And I've used this much of it. So a little over half of it is the Skin Nutrition's Clarifying Lotion. This is step two. And I don't think I finished the face wash either. So I'm probably going to use those together. And then this is a Lancome toner. And that is how full this one is. So I think that's all the toners that I have right now including the one that I'm currently trying to finish but it should be done then I can start on one of these and get those finished and then this is a hydrolyzed advanced under eye formula it looks like this and this has a lot of product in it as you can see it's an eye cream so I'm going to use this up and I don't know if I would purchase that eye cream again after I use it. I'm probably going to purchase a different one, not this one. Okay, I don't know how much is left in here, but I like this product. It's the e.l.f. Eye Refresh, and it looks like this. It is not a lot in here, but it's just like this never ends. <laughs> so, it's got a roller ball. And I feel like this helps with, I don't really have dark circles, and I don't think this is some a product for dark circles, but it does help, like in the morning you when you wake up and your eyes are like puffy a little bit, it does help with the puffiness, like really good. So I like that um, eye refresh. Okay, this is a hair product, and then I'll get into makeup. So this is the L'Oreal Boost It Blowout Hair Spray heat spray not hairspray it's the lasting volume heat protection and I use this today because I'm kind of trying to compare this with my the one I got from the Dollar Tree the heat spray that I bought at the Dollar Tree to see if this will be better for my hair and it did just it did about the same thing that the Dollar Tree does but I also use it's a 10 in my hair so I want to like use this up but it's good it's nice to have volume so and this one I'm probably not going to use it every day that I do my hair like curl it or you know every day I put heat on it but I think I can get this finished before the end of the year two I have two foundations and I have been using these so much this year and still haven't finished them. I don't know how much is left in here. It's kind of hard to tell with the foundation. But these are both pump foundations. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi um, foundation. It has SPF 20 in it. And I'm in porcelain light ivory. Looks like that. It has a pump. And then when the pump is finished, I think you can take this the pump off and like I can I use as much as I can of it I take the pump off and then I kind of like you know put it on my hand so I like this foundation like if I get a foundation that's too dark for me I usually mix it with this one so I am currently mixing it with this foundation because I have dry skin and in the winter time my skin is even more dry so I'm mixing it with this foundation because I think this foundation is good for like if you have oily skin. And I kind of am oily in my, like some parts of my face. But 
I want to finish this one. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It has SPF 20 and I'm in the color Ivory. So I am using these two foundations together. The next makeup item is this. This is the Love and Beauty by Forever 21. And it's in the color Nude Beige. And that's all that I have left. If you can see that. So definitely I should finish this. This is like my go to lipstick and I marked it there so that I can you know keep my update with my progress and then I have the elf contouring blush and bronzer I only want to complete the bronzer because I have hit pan on that and this is in St. Lucia So as you can see, I have hit pan on the bronzer, and that is the only one that I want to try to complete in 2016, just the bronzer. And I think I should, I think I've been doing pretty well. I've been working on this one for a lot of 2015, so I'm hoping to finish it. And then this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection, and this is in Rose Champagne Glow. And I have been using this one for a long time. So that's how much I have of it. That's what it looks like. I've been working on this for a lot of 2015 also. And I kind of made a dent here. I haven't hit pan at all. So we will see how far I get. And that's all of my 16 that I want to finish in 2016. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.